boys and girls, any of you out there who are fans of Henry Cavill, like so many of us out there absolutely are, and I am not willing to hide the fact that I will absolutely simp for Henry Cavill any day of the week. I have no problem with that whatsoever. That is a man's man. That is a nerd's nerd. And that is my kind of geek that I would definitely like to hang out. And I love him doing a lot of things. I loved him as Superman. I cannot wait for the Warhammer 40k stuff. But it looks like, boys and girls, we might have to wait not very long before we see him in another super-powered, super-upped world. We might have to wait for Warhammer 40k because if rumor and truth be told, which we have this now from two sources, not just our dear sweet friends over at Giant Freaking Robot, that Henry Cavill will indeed be appearing in Deadpool 3 and he will be playing a Wolverine variant. Now, this is some very exciting stuff. And Can We Get Some Toast has also just recently confirmed this as well, but we're going to give credit where credit is due because Giant Freaking Robot absolutely cracked this story from the beginning. So let's check this out. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that like button. Henry Cavill is playing Wolverine in Deadpool 3. There has been speculation for months that Henry Cavill might show up in Deadpool 3, aka Deadpool and Wolverine, but it's mostly been fan fantasy. Now, however, I've been able to confirm that Henry Cavill will indeed appear in Deadpool 3. More than that, I know who he's playing, and this is something that Can We Get Some Toast was not willing to confirm, but you know what? Giant freaking Robot has been right plenty of times in the past, and sometimes they miss, but more often than not, they're right. That's the reason why we go back to them. That's the reason why we talk about them over and over again. Henry Cavill will appear in Deadpool and Wolverine as a multiverse variant of Wolverine. His version will be wearing a long brown coat when he shows up, and this will be Cavill's first appearance in the Marvel Universe. Obviously, and hopefully considering the way the MCU is going right now, last. This information comes from the same source which made us first which made us first to break the news that Linda Cardellin would voice Leela the Otter in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. That story was then confirmed by Guardians of the Gar Guardians director James Gunn. So obviously like I said they're trying to show you here that they have a track record it's from the same source it's been proven right in the past before. So please note Giant Freaking Robot's editorial guidelines prohibit me from reporting information from unverified sources. It's only because this source has previously given us proven and correct information on a story related to this one that I am able to report on Henry Cavill's Deadpool 3 appearance. So see, they even have journalistic standards over at Giant Freaking Robot. For so, say for whatever you want to say about them, they at least are willing to go, look, unless this person has a track record of telling us things that are right, we're not writing an article about it. We're not going to put our credibility on the line. And you know what? Shout out to Giant Freaking Robot for doing that. Many had, many had thought Cavill might appear as Captain Britain, a fan-favorite character people have long lobbied for him to be cast as. That's not happening in Deadpool Wolverine, but it doesn't mean it can't happen in the future. Trust me, uh, like, no, not with the current state of the MCU, no. I would love to see him as Captain Britain, yes, but, like, Wolverine variant is plenty good enough for me. Because the plot of Deadpool and Wolverine is full of weird multiverse machinations, Cavill playing Wolverine doesn't mean he can't show up in the Marvel Universe as some other character. Henry Cavill playing Wolverine in Deadpool 3 is, as far as I've been able to find out, from my sources, for now, a one-off. So don't expect Cavill to play Wolverine anywhere outside the context of this one movie. And it's still possible the former Superman, Superman could join the Marvel Universe as a more permanently capacity as some other character. Update. Two days after we broke the story, it was confirmed by noted scooper, Can We Get Some Toast? And Can We Get Some Toast is one of those that, like, even bounding into comics will write articles when Can We Get Some Toast puts stuff out. Sometimes that Park Place will write articles over at Cosmic Book News. All these guys that we have relied on time and time again over the last few years to bring us some of the best and most breaking pop culture news with a good and honest, straightforward, you know, direction towards it. They don't try to put a lot of spin on things, or at least if they do, you know exactly where their spin is coming from, and you can kind of see through it, but most of the time it's just straightforward news, unlike what we get from a lot of the mainstreams and can we get some toast has a long enough track record that everybody continues to report whenever they put a scoop out there because more often than not they are right much like WW Pro and all of his sources over at that park place they've got a proven track record that's why we trust them so yeah, there you go. Some people owe Giant Freaking Robot an apology for real, because I'm sure they were getting absolutely blasted for this. They were absolutely getting blasted for this. No, it's not. Da, 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 and you know what? There's a reason why we check Giant on our morning show during the live streams. It's the reason why we generally check Giant Freaking Robot if we run out of regular articles to talk about, because they have a good track record. They've also just got some fun articles about like space and technology and stuff like that on there occasionally, and it's just all around a lot of good fun. But this is one of those things. They have a proven track record, so I have no doubt in my mind whatsoever. I fully expect at this point with these guys' proven track record that Henry Cavill will fully show up as a Wolverine variant in the Deadpool 3. And honestly, after if I wasn't already excited enough about Deadpool 3 being the only Disney Marvel product, which actually it's a Ryan Reynolds Marvel product, but that's a different story, is the only Marvel product that I am excited for anytime, anywhere near in any kind of future whatsoever going forward because I'm excited to see this. And now knowing that Henry Cavill is going to be in it as well, that is just one more thing I'm getting excited for and I cannot wait to see this movie in theaters. We'll